weather forecast. And welcome back to your news. If I were taking a live look at our Snoopy's cam there, saw also a couple folks out there on their boats out there, uh, but uh, still dealing with the Labor Day weekend. And of course, those who are lucky to have even tomorrow off are still enjoying any celebrations that they're involved in, whether that's being out at the beach or being on the boat or maybe barbecues. All of it is up for fun, of course, as we go throughout the next few days here. But for today, we have our current temperatures and feels like all across the coastal bend right now. Uh, right now in Corpus Christi, we're sitting at 94 degrees, but it feels like 104 out there. There. Robstown also joined Corpus Christi with their air temperature at 94 degrees, but feels like 100. And moving over to Orange Grove, you guys are at 95 degrees, but feels like 103. So the humidity is starting to kick in, increasing a little bit by bit here. So, of course, it does directly affect our feel like temperatures, of course, increasing those and making it feel a little bit more oppressive. And sadly, that's going to be the trend as we look ahead into the next few days here, especially into early next week as well. We've been kind of having a treat out there dealing with those drier conditions. So, of course, it's not been making it feel as hot out there. But as we look ahead, we're going to be kind of going back and forth and sticking around at least for the next few days here in the oppressive range for our dew points. Of course, that does directly affect our humidity, therefore affecting our feel like temperature. So it's going to be feeling pretty oppressive outside for the next few days here. And the result of that is because of this new influx of moisture that's starting to make its way here into the coastal bend. It's been pretty yellow, of course, noting the drier periods that we've been dealing with here. But we see a couple hues of green starting to make its way here into our air, thus more moisture, so more humidity. Thus, it's going to be feeling more hot outside. But one good thing about the moisture coming into uh, the coastal bend here is that we're going to be start seeing more showers making their way into our area as well, potentially. So we do have some showers right now off into the Gulf, Gulf Coast right now. And some of those showers are making their way inland, but mostly those are to the northern communities, north of Goliad and also north of uh, Port Lavaca as well. But there is one day in particular that possibly some of these showers could make their way here into the coastal bend and some of our southern communities as well. This is looking ahead to Wednesday. Now, of course, we're still in that unlikely band there, so it's possibly that these could be some stray showers, so not many people will see them if any of these showers make their way inland at all. We'll mostly need the help of the sea breeze making its way uh, into the coastal bend to bring these showers ahead as we look ahead to Wednesday. But, of course, we'll be able to track that better as we get closer here. But for tonight, we'll have mostly clear conditions outside. Uh, a little bit breezy as well, so we'll see some winds ranging all the way up to 13 up to 18 miles per hour as well. And we also will have a low of 75 degrees for today. But as I said, for the folks who are lucky to have another day off looking ahead to Labor Day, these are the conditions that you can expect. A little bit of a repeat of today. Uh, we're mostly having hot and sunny skies out there, a high of 97 degrees. And we'll also have a nice breeze as well. So we'll see a south southeast breeze going from 10 all the way up to 18 miles per hour. So even though it will be a little bit hotter, and of course the humidity is kicking up, so we'll probably see those feel like temperatures reaching the chill reaching the triple digits as well. We'll have a nice breeze going to help us feel a little bit more comfortable as we look ahead to that. But uh, we're still continuing those temperatures though in the upper 90s, possibly getting into the triple digits as we look ahead to next weekend. But definitely we'll be feeling much hotter out there as the humidity returns.